So JD, we're here after a 5-2 win away at Poole. I guess give us your thoughts on that one. Um, we started the game, I thought really sluggish, slow. Um, Paul had dominated possession. Um, I thought we struggled to get grips of their shape. But we um, looked like we had tired legs. Um, but you have to credit to Paul as well, the way they played, moved the ball quite well. Uh, and we just, yeah, like I say, we struggled to, to you know, kind of get close to them. It's hard on this pitch as well because it's a big pitch. Um, but they did move the ball well. So the first 20, 25 really were disappointed, I thought. Then when we did turn the ball over, we gave it up too easily. Um, so uh, it was something definitely to improve on. And I think the sending off has changed it because obviously their, their man has gone. As soon as he's gone, then obviously they've, they've sat a little bit deeper and we've got a bit more comfortable on the ball and we start to dominate possession. And um, we at times got a little bit frustrated and we forced things. And at other times we played some nice stuff and scored some good goals. Um, to win 5-2 here is a, is a really good result especially off the back of the FA Cup, because um, there's always a fear of uh, a hangover effect. Um, so I think you could have said that after about 20, 25 minutes. And then from there onwards, we, um, we've done enough to win the game. So obviously you scored just before the half. What's your, was that an important time to score, I guess, for us going into half time after probably being a bit under the cosh first 25, as you said? Yeah, yeah. Like, for, like I say, first 25, we were just under it. I don't think we got out of our half. Um, and then obviously, the, with, with, like I said, when we're going to 10, we've got up the pitch a little bit more. We've got more entries into the box. We had a few more shots, if you like, and and, and played to me. Yeah, it's an important time, obviously, because it, it changes the game. It, it probably forces them, because they've got 10 men, they, can, they have to come out a little bit more because they have to, you know, chase the game a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it's an important goal. I thought it was a good goal as well. Nice combination, Rushy's shot, post, and, and Rick uh, followed it up. So, yeah, important goal. Um, and then... It, I think it was just the same kind of patterns in the second half where we would kind of make a few passes, get ourselves up the pitch, get to the box, they would put a bit of a low block on and then we would have to try and counteract that. So um, we did at times as well. So we'll come to Rick in a moment with his hat-trick, but I thought Ogo Wobby's second half was, was excellent. He's laid on, laid on two, I think, and scored yep. one himself. Yeah. Thoughts on sort of his performances? I know it's a bit stop-start with him. Yeah, it's been stop-start because of he's, he's lone, he's, um, he can't play in the Cups, you know, because he um, can't play in the Trophy, he can't play in the FA Cup, so it has been stop-start with him. But the two games, I think he got his assist at uh, Dickcock, where I think he played well against Dickcock. And again, yeah, he scored today, and, and I think especially second half, he's been a, he's been a threat um, to their team. So, you know, that's why we brought Oggs in. We've known him for a long time, um, and, and we feel he can give us another... Um, another dimension and another kind of player to go and score a goal. So yeah, he was um, he's played well today. I think at times some of the goals and the finishing, you know, was w w I, thought, I thought he took his goal really well today, and some of the finishing was good. And obviously Zach Joseph back in and amongst the goals, two in two for him. How how nice is that to see? I guess as a club, Zach is Zach is on his day. Uh, I think he, he can be unplayable on his day. Um, he's he, he's just getting the the minutes and the consistency out of him. He hasn't had a pre-season, you know, the pre-season he was away, um, he's come back, he's, he's picked up a couple of injuries, so he's had a really stop start up until October, um, now really, but now we've got some games out of him, um, I thought when he came on in the FA Cup, I thought he was outstanding, um, I thought he really helped to change the game, and again today I think uh, he's had a good performance, scored a good goal, um, he's starting to look uh, back to his old ways a little bit, if we're going to do well this year, we need Zaki to be firing, I think we're going to do well. So. And obviously Ricardo German's hat-trick again, I think it's his third of the season now, I mean, how important is he as yeah. a finisher yeah. and all around? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, his goals kind of sum up what he's done, you know, I think, I, I think his third one is... Let's, if he didn't score that third one, I think a few of the boys would have absolutely torn his head off because he had about three people he could have passed to, but he's took it himself. Uh, but he is on a hat-trick and it's, it's a great finish. Um, Rick is um, important. Yeah, he's, he's one of our uh, our attacking threats. Um, we, um, we've worked hard with Rick. I think Rick's worked hard as well. I think Rick's improved um, because he's worked on his six levels. And, you know, I think he's, when we get enough ball and around him we start to play to his strengths um, and he's in the mood I think he's again I think he's a he's a top set forward um, he, he's still I think got a way to go in terms of um, keep improving um, but his goals today are, are pleasing obviously to score to score his hat trick and um, I'm sure he's stuck all over Twitter already um, is 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 um, pleasing and obviously in this league it's relentless we're back at it again on Tuesday we've got Hendon coming to the meadow What's your thoughts going ahead of that? Because it's still a big league game for us. Yeah. 
FA Cup to come, but league's important at the moment. Yeah, it's massive because we just said to the boys that at one point, you know, the FA Cup and the FA Trophy will come to the end. Obviously, we don't want it to come to the end anytime soon. Uh, but we said, obviously, that we'll still be playing the league in April. And we, we, we've said how we want to be up there competing and, you know, playing for something in April. Um, and these league games are important because the Cup games are absolutely fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's going to be you know something we're going to look forward to in a few weeks' time. But, you know, you don't want to find yourself too far adrift because, obviously, you're going to have games in hand. and. You don't. You want to stay within the pack, and you know you want to keep winning football matches. We play Hendon Tuesday. Hendon is a local derby. Um, they, I've seen them play a couple of times this year. Every time I've seen them, I've been really impressed with them. Um, they've improved their squad definitely. I think their front two of Nico and Joe White is probably, you know, probably one of the top two pairings in the league. Um, I think they've had a positive result again today. Um, fair play to Lee um, and his dad and the management team there. They, you know, they've, they've definitely improved the side. Local derby, um, home game. Whenever we play them, it's always tough. So, you know, I, I looked at these two fixtures and thought, you know, we need to try and get a good point return, but we knew how hard today was going to be and we know Tuesday is going to be just as tough. We need to make sure we recover well and if we're going to win the game, I think the boys know they're going to have to play well on Tuesday. Thanks, JD, and uh, we'll speak again on Tuesday. Thank you.